Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest helps successful singles navigate through relationships and the occasional uphill battle of finding a compatible mate. Today, she is here to share 2020 dating goals that can empower and inspire hopeful singles just in time for Valentine's Day. Inspire me. Yes. Uh, please welcome Shay, your love diva, Levester. Hey, Shay, Shay. Shay. You all. You too. Oh, yes. We're we, we just going to jump right in because we need as much time as we possibly can have yes. in this situation. So, nowadays, women are finding themselves really frustrated in this dating game. I mean, mm -hmm. some men, they send their representatives. You never really know who they are right. when you encounter them. So, mm -hmm. sometimes you just want to give up. Is mm -hmm. it okay to just be single? Okay, there's a time and a place for everything. So, of course... What time is it to be single? <laughs> <laughs> is that from, like, 9 to 2? <laughs> 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 Ten to three. Okay. First, two things can't occupy the same space at the same time. So you must be single because you have a lot of people looking for love and they're still in a relationship that they're unhappy with. Mm. And they think that they're supposed to jump once they find somebody else. But no, you're supposed to be single first, accept that, and then move on to another relationship. Or even mentally. Like a lot of people are still caught up on an ex or they're still caught up on their past mm. and they're not available to love again. Those, those people need to go to counseling. <laughs> you know, I, I truly do think that they do need to go to counseling. You're scorned. Counseling. Right. And you need, you, you do what? I believe in counseling. Okay. I, I'm an, I am a believer in counseling, but you, there's people who even get a lot of counseling and they just have no idea how to move through the dating process. They have no idea how to truly heal and unhook some of the belief systems that are blocking them from being able to manifest Our love. relationship. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right then, well let's talk a little bit about conflict and, mm -hmm. and, 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 and maintaining a relationship. Yeah. You know, is, is that something that you're gonna discuss with the 2020 um, dating goals? Absolutely, because here's the thing. If you are showing up as the hurt, broken you, of the past, mm -hmm. looking for love, like energy attracts like energy. Mm -hmm. You're going to attract that kind of person. But if you, Do you work believe on that all the time, absolutely every single time. I'm, I'm telling you, the the wonderful thing about dating is that it shows you a lot about yourself. Mm -hmm. Because whoever comes into your world reflects to you what things within you mm -hmm. you need to heal that you need to work on. Mm -hmm. So if you attract a liar. Mm. then it might be because you're lying to yourself. It might be because you're not telling yourself all the truths that you need to tell about yourself or you're believing things about yourself. Like you're not knowing how wonderful you are, that you are a diva, a divine, intelligent, vivacious and alluring, beautiful Come woman. On, and because of that, if you don't believe those things, then you're going to attract not a reflection of what you want, but what you believe. Oh, OK. Mm. Let's break. I don't know, girl. I don't know that all the time. I, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm, let me think about that. that okay. Well, yeah. while you think about you know, that, let's talk about these boxes <laughs> that you know some some women put uh, people in. Okay, I'm gonna mm -hmm. read from my card here. Uh, box number one, definitely my type. Box number two, maybe a friend. Box number three, absolutely not. But I think you forgot box number four. <laughs> he can get it. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Women know. Oh my God. They, Women do. Know. they do. They do. We know. They do. I knew. But <laughs> <laughs> you knew. Right. But here's the thing. <laughs> Look, be clear about what you want. Yeah. If you want to be married, then there's certain behaviors that you're going to have to exhibit in order to attract a husband. And if you are showing up and you have all of these contingencies and all these restrictions, then a lot of times we hide behind these excuses so we can stay in the safety zone of being single. Some of us have that dichotomy going on where we want love, uh -huh. but we're still remembering that ex that broke our heart. Mm -hmm. We'll still remember the way our daddy treated our mamas, and we don't want those experiences. So then we create the boxes, and the one that can get it is just the same person with a different face of the last ex that hurt you. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. now. Okay, now. <laughs> Come on, Okay, man. now. We're going to have a little bit more with the love diva, Shay Shay, when we return, okay? <laughs> We are back with Shay, your love diva, Levister. Let's get back into these 2020 dating goals. Ooh. Okay, Shay, now look here. They say, well, you say, <laughs> that your next goal is to be transparent. Mm -hmm. But isn't it true that sometimes you can be a little too open with folk in the beginning of yeah. a relationship? Mm -hmm. Can you tell us at what level, to what extent, you need to be transparent in the top of the relationship? 
So you're right, because do not start a relationship off, please, by telling them about every ex that cheated on you uh -huh. and how you were mistreated and how you jumped in the coffin of your uncle who just passed away. Like, you don't want to share that kind of information. Mm -hmm. But when you're being transparent, here's the thing, like, a lot of women have put down their standards because they're trying to be selected. And so they don't tell the guy, like, here's my standards. I don't believe in textual relationships. Mm -hmm. Don't just text me. Pick up the phone and call me. Mm -hmm. Or I expect you to plan a date. You know? So I, be upfront. Exactly. About what you want. Be upfront. And not, not only that, show up. Mm -hmm. Like, show up as your whole healed self and make it on purpose, make it intentional. That you make sure that when you show up, you've gotten rid of all of the hurt all the issues as much as possible so you can be open to love. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, your, your next goal for dating in 2020 is to strive for vulnerability, <laughs> but what makes that different from being transparent? Yeah. So vulnerability is power. That's allowing somebody who, to love you who has already showed you that he has good intentions for you. Because a lot of women have a hard time being open. We put up that hard wall, you know, that says, I'm not really open to love. Mm -hmm. But when you allow yourself to let him open the pickle jar, instead of saying, no, I am woman, hear me roar, I'll do it. Or if you allow him to open your door, then you stand in your feminine energy. Because let me tell you something, feminine energy is a receptive energy. Mm -hmm. It is his job to do the work. You know, a lot of people are out here telling women that they need to qualify for a man. They need to do this, they need to think mm. like a man, they need to jump through all these hoops. But at the end of the day, it is a man's job to pursue you. It is a man's job to make you happy. You are the flower, he is the water. It's his job to water you. And when you set those standards, they show up in your life. I'm, I'm telling you right now, people. I'm not jumping through any hoops. I'm not doing it. <laughs> right. And you shouldn't have to. I'm You're not, not supposed to. The only, your only job is, <laughs> see, I love this, I love this. Your only job is, is to work on being the very best version of you mm -hmm. so that you can magnetize and attract the best version of you to reflect back to you. And that's don't your job. Ignore the red flag. And don't yeah. ignore the and red flag. That's some good advice. Yes. Well, yeah. we, we appreciate you. I think yeah. the ladies are equipped a little bit more now with Shay, the love diva Levister. If you'd like more information, please go to her website, uh, yourlovediva.com. Let's give it up for Shay one more time. And the conversation always continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Well, yeah, I think you got us all the way together. Why do we ignore the red flags? Why do you think that? Because we sell Because we want what we want.